Remember Darz's Dominion? No, not that version. This version, for mobile. What about Trials of Titan? I mean, probably not. It wasn't around for very long, but that's besides the point. Juix, who I'm hoping I'm saying your name right by the way, the head developer behind both games is back again with his newest MMO, Born Again. Once more, this is a roguelite, or roguelike, depending on how you want to play it, that takes aspects from his previous games, but does something new with it. This time, it is a hack and slash combat style, a relatively stark contrast to the bullet hell nature of the prior two. I was lucky enough, and am incredibly grateful, that Jukes provided me with a key to the final closed alpha testing session of the game. After this, I am unsure if they will go into beta testing once down the line as it gets closer to completion, or if they will wait until the game is fully completed and just release it. The game boasts the similar pixelated art style most Realm-like players are familiar with. However, this time it's not 8x8. The player sprites and many of the enemy sprites are relatively simplified with a lack of facial features. But where the art style shines is in the environments for sure. Say what you want, but I'm just a sucker for pixelated environments like this. This little intro here isn't meant to be a full review of the game, of course, as I unfortunately didn't have enough time to play it as much as I would have liked before the testing session closed down. However, much like my Darza video, this is meant to be a first look at the game. With that being said, the following footage is taken from my Twitch stream of the game, so do you get to see how I reacted in real time to playing this game blindly. Enjoy! I'm actually really liking this main menu theme. This is actually really good. I am jamming to this. Look, you know I love warriors. Start warrior. Go to destiny. The threads of destiny are sown. Keep levels and blessings through death. Oh, thread of... Fate, lost levels, and bless- lose level- oh, game will- okay. Keep levels and blessings. Okay! Fine. Okay, we'll see. We'll see how this goes. WSD to walk, attack nearest enemy, hold B to warp between worlds, and space? No, or is it- It can be a true roguelike or a roguelite. I think with the way it is right now, it's a roguelite. Without the use of that secondary blessing or the uh, thread. Shop. Other boots. I have. I don't think any gold. Yeah. So, what do I do now? Is there a map? Oh. Can I get like a mini map? There's a dog! Pet the doggo! Pet snake and Jupix! Hey, you can bring a friend! Ah, <laughs> uh, you can bring a friend now. I would love to invite Panda to this then. No, I think I got no question. I'm just going to be getting used to everything here. Oh, you got replays. Oh, huh. that's actually kind of cool. You can just like a built in death thing. I like that. Okay. Wait, continue warrior. It doesn't seem like it's full permadeath. But it, okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. And since I don't, I just have Thread of Destiny. So it's... That's, that's kind of nice, actually. So you don't lose your levels, but you do lose your equipment. Levels and blessings through death, but you still lose your equipment. Okay. I've also noticed that it's not like... Full levels of aiming. You just aim at the closest enemy and not, like, actually in the direction of your cursor. 
I think that's my only, like... I think that's my only, like, gripe about it right now. What? What just happened? What? And then, oh. I have no idea if this thing's hitbox, so yeah. Point. Oh. Oh, hello, sir. Decently big map there. Okay. okay, this is another, uh, another thing. Oh. Iron sword, yes, please. Nice cell, no. Honestly, I'm having a pretty good time with this so far. Oh, those hurt. Those hurt hella hard, actually. Those actually, like, really hurt. Okay. Armor cooldowns. I think once you get past a certain level, similar to, like, in Paper Mario, the enemies just don't... Those enemies that... Yeah, they don't give you XP anymore. Certain enemies don't. Wooden short bow, student robes. I think those are I think those are better. Yep. Oh, that's actually neat. If you drop just a single item on the ground, it turns into the actual item itself. Wait, that's actually okay. I like that. So you actually have an idea of what is there. I noticed it with like the fruits and stuff. I didn't notice it with like th just the items. You know? Oh, no, 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 no. Good music, though. Again. Bloody cooldowns. Iron armor. I just like the 15% bonus. The cooldowns might be nice. Oh, it's different. Oh, I see. I can have multiple blessings because it's different shapes. Oh. Ah. I do have a feeling that I will probably be playing event like when I whenever I eventually get to it, I'll probably end up doing the uh um Armadeath version of the game. We're on a floating island? Oh no, this is just Ooh, wait. Oh the bridge. We are on floating islands. Connected by a bridge here. Hello, sir. This game is actually genuinely interesting so far. Overall, I think Born Again is a fantastic breath of fresh air from the realm-like genre, and I hope that Jubix and the rest of the team have a fantastic launch whenever that happens. I do know for sure that I will be playing more when it releases, whenever that may be. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as a first look into the game. And again, thank you to Juvix for providing me with closed testing access. I really do appreciate it. My name has been Charzikin, and if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I know you're absolutely tired of hearing that, but it really does help go a long way. If you want to catch my streams live, link is in the description down below, twitch.tv slash Charzigan. I stream a variety of games on there from Realm of the Mad God to games like Cult of the Lamb, Binding of Isaac, Pokemon, Mario, all sorts of stuff. Hope you guys have a good day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is for you. Peace!